And let's start with the first one. Why we are having point charges? So the very first thing that I'm just discussing is point charge. That what is a point? Point, we can say mathematically that it is a sphere whose radius goes to zero. And from this we means that the surface of it and the center of it will be exactly the same point. Like there will be no difference between the surface and the center. And that's the reason that we apply this law on point charges and not on macro bodies. For macro bodies it will be an approximated result or the result which will contain error. But for point charges, it will give very accurate result. Let's see. Let me explain this further. If, for example, instead of point charge, I am having a big charge, a macro charge, and it's a big charge here. And here is also another charge, which is a big charge here, not a point charge. Now, as we know, the charge is distributed all over the mass all over the body the charge is distributed so what we will uh, see here that if the charge is here at this point if the charge is at this point and it is interacting with this point then the internal distance between these two is this much but if the same charge portion of the charge is interacting anywhere else let's say for example at this place or this place or this place then the distance will not be the same and it will be somewhat like this or up to this one and so on and that's the reason that we consider the charges as a point charge so the distance is between their centers they don't have any surface. The surface and the centers are the same and that's why we just stress on the shape of the charges or on the size of the charges is point charges. Otherwise, if it will be having an internal radius, then our calculations will not be right.